So I'm standing here at the entrance of False Creek, and just behind me is the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the world's largest ocean, and a lesser known fact is that it's also the home of my heart. My name is Renee, and I'm a mermaid. I'm a journalist, a filmmaker, a travel writer, but I'm also a mermaid. I didn't always know I was a mermaid. I found out in around 2009 when I was in Australia. I was young, experimenting. I thought, why not try something new? And I never looked back. Ever since then, that first dive, the ocean has owned my heart. Oh, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I saw some fish. You saw fish, yeah. yeah cool. What did you see? Fish. Um, Rainbow ones like this. Yeah, and how, and what did you see? Fish. Fish. <laughs> yeah. And, and coral. And coral, right? Once I was back home in Canada, I continued to dive. Uh, except for here, it was a bit different. I had to wear a dry suit. A dry suit is this big suit that keeps you warm and dry in the ocean, and it's got big pockets on the side. I really only ever used those pockets for collecting garbage, which inevitably I saw in every dive, whether it was a beer can, a piece of styrofoam, some plastic. I remember diving off of Hornby Island here in BC with sea lions. Sea lions are incredible to dive with. They're big and they're playful. They're so majestic underwater. And one of them had a, a, a plastic ring, a packaging ring around its neck that had been there for quite some time because the sea lion had grown out of it and it was cutting into his flesh, leaving sores um, and probably causing a lot of pain. There was nothing that we could do to help the sea lion. Uh, the locals had tried to capture it and tried to relieve it of its pain and to cut this plastic off. Um, as far as I know, they were not successful. My love of the ocean has really evoked my desire to protect it and all of the living creatures inside of it. Someone once said that to light one candle is better than to curse the darkness and this is something that I really believe in. Um, it's very intimidating to think that one person can make a difference in this world, but I think it's worse to think that we can't. I hope that by spreading awareness in accurate and interesting ways that I can inspire other people to also want to protect the ocean and prolong its life. Sleep.